Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve assessment problem 7.3 from Nielsen and Riedel book. So, let's read the question. In the circuit zone, the switch has been in the left position for a long time. At t is equal to 0, it moves to the right position and stays there. A. Find initial voltage drop across the capacitor. Okay, let's do exactly that. So we will need to find out the when T is equal less than zero. Okay, so the switch is still on the left position here. And let's draw the circuit. So we will have plus minus here and that will be 150 volt voltage source. Okay, and we will have that 10 kilo ohm that is still intact. Okay, and we will have the capacitor here. However, because that has been already for a long time, the capacitor becomes open circuit. So this is the circuit here. This should be a capacitor, but it becomes open circuit. But then that will equal to V0 of the capacitor, okay? And because there is no current that pass through this 10 kilo ohm resistor, there is no voltage drop. So we will have V0 here is equal to the same as the voltage source. So we'll have 150 volt. Okay, this is the answer for question A. Okay, let's move on to question B. Find the initial energy stored by the capacitor. Okay, initial energy. The energy of a capacitor is one half multiplied by C multiplied by V square. Okay, we know the voltage at zero. So initially, that will be 150. But the value of capacitor is 40 nanofarad. So we'll have 40 multiplied by 10 to the minus 9 and then multiplied by... 150 square okay, and I think that will be the job of my calculator okay we'll have one half multiplied by 40 multiplied by 10 to the minus 9 and then multiplied by 150 square okay And we will have 4.5 multiplied by 10 to the minus 4. And the unit here will be Joule. But then we can convert this into microjoule by multiplying 10 to the 6. And that will be 450 microjoule. Okay, and this is the initial energy of the capacitor okay so far so good that is the same as this one and this one okay and then c find the time constant of the circuit for t is greater than zero okay maybe let's redraw the circuit first for t is greater than zero and let's clean up the board first okay so far we got this initial condition okay and then for t is greater than zero okay we will have that 40 nanofarad capacitor, right? 40 nanofarad capacitor. And then we will have that 5 kilo ohm resistor. And then we also have that 30 kilo ohm. And lastly, we also have that 60 kilo ohm. Right, so this is the circuit after the switch has been moved from here to here. Okay, and we can simplify the circuit. So let's simplify this. Simplify into a single resistor and single capacitor. So we we'll have 40 nanofarad here and a single resistor. Okay, and I think we can calculate the value of R here. So the value of R here is 5 
in series with 30 and 60 in parallel. So we have 30 and 60 in parallel. Okay, we'll have 5 plus 30 multiplied by 60 divided by 30 plus 60, which is 90. And so we will have 3 here. And so we will have 5 plus 20, which is 25 kilo. Okay, so the R there is 25 kilo. Okay, good. Now the question is asking us for the time constant. Okay, time constant. Time constant tau is equal to R multiplied by C, right, in RC circuit. So we'll have 25 kilo ohm. So 25 multiplied by 10 to the 3 multiplied by 40 but nanofarad that will be 10 to the minus 9 so this is 1000 okay 1000 multiplied by 1000 that will be 1 million or 10 to the 6 multiplied by 10 to the minus 9 that will be 10 to the minus 3 or 0 0.0001 second or tau is equal to one millisecond. Okay, that's good, and that is exactly the same as this one. So this is the answer for problem C. Okay, we answered A, B, and C. Now let's do the last one, which is the VT. What is VT? VT is the voltage across the capacitor. So we have plus minus VT here. Okay, I will copy this circuit and also the initial condition let's do that okay now let's set this node here as our ground here and we know that the current is goes this and maybe like this first but then this node is equal to vt right we can do kcl at t KCL at T, and remember that KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out, right? Okay, there is no current that goes in, so that will equal to zero, but the current that goes out here, we know that this one here, but remember, the current that passes through capacitor is C dV dt. But the C here is 40 nanofarad, so I will have 40 multiplied by 10 to the minus 9, and then dV dt. And then we will have plus this current here, that will be V divided by 25 multiplied by 10 to the 3. And all of that will equal to zero. Okay. Okay, now we can simplify this maybe. So we will have this one here. Okay, I will move this plus V over this number here to the right hand side. So we will have like this minus V over 25 multiplied by 10 to the 3. Okay, let's move this number to the right hand side. So we will have dv over dt is equal to minus v divided by 40 times 10 to the minus 9 times to the 25 multiplied by 10 to the 3. So we will have dv over dt and all of this will cancel out into 10 to the minus 3 right but 10 to the minus 3 we can move to the numerator so we will have minus 1000 v okay so this together with that we have first order differential equation with initial condition okay let's solve that so let's do that okay we have this two different this First order differential equation with an initial condition. Okay, let's solve this first. Okay, maybe let's group it by variable. So I'll have dv over v is equal to minus 1000 dt. Okay, we can integrate both sides. So we will have ln v 
on the left hand side but then we will have minus 1000 t and then plus some constant okay but then we can rewrite this as vt is equal to e to the c1 is just another constant so i will have a there and then e to the minus 1000 t right and because we have this initial condition we can plug t is equal zero to this function here so we'll have a e to the minus 1000 multiplied by zero <laughs> and then we will have 150 e to the zero is one so i will have a multiplied by one that's still a and then on the right hand side we still have 150 okay so we can substitute a into this equation so we will have vt is equal to 150 e to the minus 1000 and this is the final answer this is the answer for question d so we have answered all the question asked by assessment problem 7.3 okay that's all thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye